so this is where I do my makeup every day. Let's just go ahead and start with my desk here. This is the Malm table from Ikea. Okay, so the first thing you can see here is um, a lipstick holder. I got this on eBay for about $5. Very inexpensive. Um, these are my least worn lipsticks. I don't really gravitate to these much. Um, I have some NYX right here. And then I have some Color Sensational lipsticks. I have my Revlon Lip Butter. I have some Rimmel, some Elf, um, some CoverGirl, another NYX one. I have a LA Girls and also a Flirt So then lipstick. I have this um, empty container right here on the top of my desk. And this is actually where I put my Q-tips, but I currently don't have any in there. I have this little glass jar. And um, I have some this is where I cotton keep pads all of in my here. brushes. Um, I do have a pretty good amount, um, I think, for me. Um... You know, I love all my brushes. I have some Sonia Kashuk in here. I'm Elf, which is um, one of my favorite brushes. Some Real Technique brushes. Walmart. Some Eagle Tools. I have some Sigma. And these are all of their, So these are all my face brushes. And then these are my, all my eye brushes. And some face for, like, concealer and stuff. I have mostly Sigma and um, Elf brushes and Sonia Kashuk brush. This is my makeup remover. It's from Walmart. And then I just have a spray bottle filled with water for my beauty blender. And then I have another lipstick case and this is also from eBay and these are my most used lipsticks. I have my L'Oreal lipsticks right here. My Wet n Wild lipsticks. And then I have my Revlon lipsticks which obviously I have a lot of those. These are my favorite. And then I have three MAC lipsticks for that. And then I just have this um, e.l.f. Kaboom. And then just um, my mirror. Okay, and then this is what is inside the drawer that pulls out that is in front. Okay, so right off to the side here, I have some powders. I have my, my Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder, and then I also have the powder in Cameo, too. And then I have some e.l.f. High Definition Powder. This is where I keep um, some of my skincare that I'm using for the moment. So I have some Michael Todd, um, Jojoba charcoal facial scrub if that's how you say it and I love this I actually got this in an ipsy bag and I just love it and then I have my Mario Badescu um, acne facial cleanser which I haven't tried yet but I um, recently just put um, some new products in here for me to try so um, I really can't wait to try that. And then right here, I have all my primers for my face. So I have the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. I really, really like this one. I have um, some eye primers as well. So I have the Lorac Behind the Scenes. I have an e.l.f. one. Um, Tarte. Benefit Stay Don't Stray, Benefit Professional, and then the L'Oreal Magic Kalumi. I have two of those, and I really, really like these. These are really good um, if your skin is dry. It makes your face really moisturized, and it just gives you a really nice, luminous look. And moving on to over here, um, I have this um, little sample of the Benefit's It's Potent Eye Cream. And then I have the Elf Zip Zapper. I have a Garnier Ultra Lift Anti-Eye Wrinkle. Love this. I have the Neutrogena Rapid Clear, um, that's for just a uh, pimple spot treatment, and then I have my moisturizer, and then I have some concealers right here, I have this NYX Waterproof Concealer, and then I have my MAC Prep and Prime, my L'Oreal True Match Concealer, my Instant Age One, which is my ultimate favorite drugstore concealer, and then I have my Sonia Kashuk um, Concealer Quad in Hidden Agenda 2, I have some Cover Olay Simply Ageless Concealer, which is actually discontinued. Um, and then I have this um, Yabby Concealer. And then back here I have all my brow products. I have um, my Glamouflage Concealer in the color Light. And this is for my, um, to highlight my brows. And then I have a Chella um, Highlighting Stick. I have some brow powder. This is the NYX Nude Matte Shadow and Betrayal. Um, I have my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in medium, and then my Anastasia brow, and then I have my Define a Brow by Maybelline, and my Anastasia Brow Wiz, and also an e.l.f. clear brow gel. And I don't know if I said where this was or not, but I got these containers. All the containers I got in here are from the container store. 
And then in this little middle tray right here, I have all my foundations, and then I have a um, tinted moisturizer, and then some my cleanser, my daily cleanser that I always use. And this is um, for foundations. These are just the foundations that I'm trying out at the moment or that were in my drawer and I just need to use up. So I have my Kat Von D Lock It To foundation. Um, I have my Maybelline Fit Me powder, my L'Oreal True Match Lumi, my MAC Studio Fix, and then also my L'Oreal True Match. I used to be in love with this foundation, and then I just stopped using it, and then recently I found it in my drawer, so I'm really happy that I actually found it, because um, I forgot how much I love it. And then I have um, a MAC Studio Moisture Tint, and then I have this little mirror right here that I use to like apply my foundation onto and to mix and stuff like that. Right here I have some liners. Um, I have some liquid liners. I have Revlon. I have two Elf right here. I have a silver um, liquid liner for from NYX that I, I have a silver liquid liner from NYX that I really like. And then I have my favorite L'Oreal Linear Intense Liner and then just some L'Oreal and this Laura Geller um, white eyeliner in the color Bone. I really like this. And then all the way right here in the back I have my NYX gel liner which I love. I have some mascaras in here. I have some, I just actually cleaned this out so they were getting a little bit old. I have my Maybelline Falsies mascara, my Tarte Amazonian Clay mascara in the shade Gifted my um, telescopic shock and extensions mascara and then I also have a elf um, mascara primer and this actually does really work right here is where I have my lip products that aren't lipsticks so I have um, this Kors lip butter I have um, these jumbo pencil things I have um, two from Revlon um, it's a their balm stains and then one from CoverGirl. These two are actually new, so um, I put these in my drawer so I had to remind myself to use them. And this one I really really love. This is the um, Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stain in Prush in the color Precious. This is a really good nude. And then I have my Malin and Goats Lip Balm Mojito Lip Balm that I got in my Ipsy bag. I have some Pop Beauty. I also got an Ipsy bag. My Lip Fusion Infatuation Lipstick, and I actually really don't like this lipstick. It it comes off really nice, but then on my lips it feels kind of chalky. So if you've tried this lipstick out, let me know if you have the same problem, or maybe mine's just old. I don't really know. I have an e.l.f. crayon lipstick, um, or lip balm, lip stain, I don't really know. But it's a really nice color. I have this Sugar Rose from Fresh. It's like a lip balm. I've actually had this for a very, very, very long time, and I love it. I have my Strawberry Lip Balm. It's so bomb. I have a NYX Butter Gloss right here, and then I also have some um, lip liners. This one I haven't used yet, and this is the one that I always use. Um, this is the oh, this is the L'Oreal. Um, Color Riche lip, uh, lip Pencil and Plum. This is what I use for my dark lips. I have a NARS um, lip gloss in Turkish Delight. And then I also have a NYX lip gloss. And then another NYX lip liner in Soft Brown. And then coming to this last section in my drawer, um, I just have this little container. This is also from the container store. I have some um, eyelash glue. I have some contacts, some eyelashes that I'm using at the moment. I have this Josie Marin like Argan Oil, my beauty blender, and then just a sponge from Sephora that's really dirty. I have my Tarte Pure Maracuja Oil, and then a sanitizer, and also Vaseline. And then I have like a little brush right here that I'm actually going to start trying out. Um, I'm trying to compare this to the um, NARS Ida brush or Ida brush. I don't really know. So I actually ordered that in the mail. So I'm going to be doing a comparison on this brush. And um, like these are the blushes that you get in the benefit box block. The benefit um, boxes like these ones right here. So um, I'm going to try to do a, a comparison on those. Right here 
is all my blushes and bronzers. I have my powders, my highlighters. I have some tools and then some eyeshadows that I'm trying out. So right here I have um, some Jordana blushes and these are so cheap. I think they're like $2.99 or $1.99 and they work so good. I have my NARS blush in Orgasm. My MAC blush in Otherworldly. I have um, a Be A Bombshell blush that I got in my Ipsy bag. I have another MAC blush in Sun Bath. And a Tarte Amazonian Clay in Ar Archiote or something like that. I have a NYX blush. Um, some the bomb blushes that I haven't used yet so I put them in here. I have my Benefit Rockateur brush that I just bought that I haven't used so I put it in here. Um, I have my Bahama Mama bronzer. Uh, I have a Tarte Amazonian Clay blush in Princess Park Avenue that I haven't tried yet. Um, a L'Oreal True Match in Coco which I used to bronze with and then my Hoola bronzer. And then for highlighters, I have this Laura Geller highlighter, I have this Physicians Formula highlighter, and then my all-time favorite, which is my Holy Grail highlighter, is my NARS um, highlighter in Albatross. I have my Urban Decay D-Slick mattifying powder that I haven't used yet. Uh, my... Uh... Physicians Formula powder. My Stay Matte. Um, by Rimmel, a Laura Geller um, Brighten Foundation and Medium, and then just another True Match uh, product, which is for my face. And then right here, I just have some tools. I have a face scrubber um, that I've never used. I have um, something for my eyebrows to trim them, a lash curler from Tarte, a um, e.l.f. Uh, sharpener, and then just some scissors to trim my eyebrows or if I need to cut hair or if I need to cut hair or anything, I have I have these scissors um, to cut hair or whatever I need. And then right here, I just have some eyeshadows that were in my drawer that I've been wanting to try out. So I have my Urban De Naked Basics palette that I haven't used yet. I have this um, really, really pretty tart eyeshadow. I have a little sample of uh, Max Vanilla Pigment. And then I have these two eyeshadows that I just got from Wet n Wild. One is in Nutty and the other one is in Sh Okay, so now coming up to my drawers right here. Um, this is the Alex 9 drawer. So on the top right here, um, I just have a candle burning. And this is the Vanilla Snowflake candle from Bath & Body Works. Okay, so I have um, some setting sprays right here. I have an e.l.f. Um, setting spray. And then I have this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This Model in a Bottle Setting Spray. And then also this Scandinavia makeup finishing setting. Right here I just have some deodorant, um, some um, body lotion from Bath & Body Works, and then my everyday body lotion which is from Suave and it's the lavender vanilla and it's amazing. It smells so good. Right here is where I put my everyday palettes that I reach for the most. Um, this right here I got I believe at the dollar store and then I have my palettes in here. Let's see if I can open this. So this is just some depotted MAC shadows that I have. Um, this palette I actually got from eBay. Okay, so in this first top drawer right here, I have all my foundations, concealers, primers, stuff like that. So right here I just have some mini sizes. I have Matchbox, Smashbox Photo Finish. I have the Tarte. I have a Benefits That Gal. Um, another Smashbox Photo Finish. Benefit High Beam, um, Urban Decay Primer Potion, another Tarte um, Clean Slate Eye Primer, uh, Smashbox Photo Finish Luminizing, and then I have a Benefit um, a, Bene a Benefit Benetint in there. I have some Studio Mac Tech um, Foundation, which I really really don't like, and this is actually way too dark for me. That's that. I have this um, Revlon Whipped Foundation. That's too dark for me. And then I have um, some L'Oreal True Match. These actually I used to be in love with these, but I'm not really so into them, so they just kind of hang out back there. I have a, another Revlon Whipped Foundation. And then I have the L'Oreal uh, Magic Lumi Powder Foundation, which I hate. Um, I have some, a few Maybelline um, 
Super Stay Makeup. I have another MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I have a Revlon Photo Ready. Um, a L'Oreal True Match Lumi. A Maybelline. Um, another L'Oreal True Match. Neutrogena Healthy Skin. And then the Revlon Nearly Naked, which I'm not a big fan of. And then right here I have all of my concealers. All my concealer is in this right here. So I have some um, NYX, um, The Balm, I'm an e.l.f. Corrective Concealer Palette, Milani, I have um, the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the pot, and then the Pro Longwear Concealer, which is actually too dark for me. I have another NYX um, HD Concealer, which is too dark for me. I have a... Um, MAC Moisture Cover Concealer, and then I have this um, Alme, another e.l.f. concealer, and then also this Hard Candy Concealer. That's for your eyebrows, which I don't really use. So this next drawer has to be one of my favorite drawers, and this is where all my blushes and my bronzers and like powders hang out here. Um, so right here is my blushes, and then right here, these are my bronzers, and then my powders. So right here I have two Fox in a box, and I love these. And, um, wow, didn't even know that happened. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, these are the two ones that I have, and I actually need to throw this one away now. And then I have some blushes right here. I have an e.l.f. one that I've never used, um, a Wet n Wild one that's still new, and another Wet n Wild one that I haven't used. And this is in Helder Silk in Pearlescent Pink. So I'm sure you guys have seen these on YouTube a lot. I have this uh, Dream Mousse Blush that I have not used yet. I have some um, Maybelline Dream Bounties that I haven't used. I have a NARS um, mini size blush in Super Orgasm that I didn't really like. Um, I have a CoverGirl blush I never used. Yeah, so I don't even know if they um, still sell this anymore. I'm pretty sure they don't, but yeah, that's a really good, nice palette. So I have this uh, bronzer booster by Favola. Physicians Formula. Um, I used to use this all the time and then I just stopped using it. So this is actually really nice for summertime. I have an e.l.f. Contour and Bronzer Palette. This is kind of like um, NARS Laguna and Orgasm Trio. Or, yeah, Trio I think it is. No, is it? Yeah, I think so. I have a e.l.f. Golden Bronze Palette. I have this NYX Matte Bronzer that I never used. I think I used it one time, but it was a little bit too dark for me, and it looked really muddy, so I just didn't um, use it again. And then I have this Love & Beauty I got for Forever 21 I never used. And then this L'Oreal Paris uh, Blush and Bronzer. And then this is the first bronzer I've ever used. This is the e.l.f. bronzer, which is in packaging now, but I still love it. And then these are mostly my MAC blushes in Milani, so right here I have um, these two Sony Kashuk blushes and they're actually in the same dang shade. And then for my MAC blushes I have Warm Soul, I have Dainty, I have Well Dressed, um, Dolly Mix, Pink Swoon, and then I have a um, NYX Cream blush right here that's in... Um, red cheeks which I don't ever think I'm going to use. I have two Milani blushes. I have one in I don't know and the other one in Coralina and I never used. Laura Geller blush in Mauve Mocha Latte. That's new. And then I have some e.l.f. blushes back here. I have them in Mellow Mauve, um, Fuchsia Fusion, Pink Passion, Tickle Pink and another Mellow Mauve. Right here I have some face powder, so I have the MAC Mineralized Skin of Finish in Medium Deep. I have two Tarte um, setting powders, finishing powders, whatever. And then I have an e.l.f. Mattifying Translucent Powder and then a Tone Correcting Powder. Looks like this. 
And this actually does really work nicely. Okay. I have some L'Oreal True Match um, powders, but they're loose powders. I have a Make It Forever um, HD powder. I have a Fit Me powder. And then I have a backup of my Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Deep. I have this Almay powder. It's a loose powder. So the next drawer right here is all of my eyeshadows. And I love eyeshadow. So these containers I got at the container store. And then these ones I got from the dollar store. And these ones right here. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah. Those I got from the dollar store. So I just have a Sigma eyeshadow. It's like It was a gift when I bought some brushes. So... Yeah, I got that, and then this is like a really old palette. I don't even know what this is. But yeah, I have some e.l.f. quads right here. I have some singles from CoverGirl. I have a quad from CoverGirl, and these are all CoverGirl. I have a trio right here, another quad that's brand new, another quad that's brand new. And then I got this um, MAC Heatherette from the Heatherette collection. So that's that. And then I have... These uh, Revlon Diamond Dust eyeshadows that I never used. I have um, this one in silver, Plum Galaxy, Diamond Lust, Neptune Star, and Starry Pink. I got these Flirt eyeshadows, um, and they sell Flirt at Kohl's. Um, so I have some of these that I haven't used yet, but I will. So... Those are those. And I love the packaging. It's really, really nice and sleek. I have a couple of these uh, Maybelline Eye Studio um, palettes in purple, one in blue, and then one in green, which are all messed up because my daughter gets into my makeup. Anything in here that's messed up, it's probably most likely because of my daughter. <laughs> I have some Rimmel palettes. Uh, I have this uh, from Forever 21 that I got as a free gift. never used it. Um, I have a Wet n Wild um, Quad and Spoiled Brat and Alme and then a L'Oreal palette. And then right here, I have some L'Oreal Hip Eyeshadows. Um, didn't really use these. And then I just bought these because they were pretty. Never used them either. Um, these are the Milani Eyeshadows. Um, they're called the Runway Eyes. So I have a bronze, a purple, a blue, a white, a black. And then a shimmery pink, like this. So, never really use those, but um, maybe I'll do a tutorial using these or something. And then I have another Milani Big Shadow right here. And then this Laura Geller Trio, which is needs to be used up. I have some Milani Runway Eye Palettes. Um, I have some Maybelline Eye Studio Palettes. One in purple, a blue one, and then a neutral one. I have this Revlon Custom Eyes Palette and this J Cats Creamy Palette that I hate. In the back here, I just have some glitters um, that I use for my eyes. So I got these at, I believe, Michaels or something like that. So some glitters. Right here, I have all of my pigments right here or glitters, anything you want to call them. Um, I have some from MAC, MAC, um, these are the hip loose powders, whatever, MAC, MAC, some Bella Terra, um, NYC, um, LA Color, yeah, just a whole bunch of loose eyeshadows. And right here is just some single shadows, I have some NYX, um, and then the rest are MAC. And then I have a Stila and then a Two Cosmetics one I got in my glam bag. But most of them are MAC. Okay, so as I said, I got all of these from the dollar store. So all right here I have all my brow products. I have some brow powders, NYX, Jordana. And I have a lot of brow pencils. Um, I have uh, Maybelline in here. Maybelline, NYX, uh, Maybelline. Um, these Wet n Wild ones are actually really, really good. They're only 98 cents. Um, Jordana. I have a Benefit Eye Bright. Um, more Wet n Wild. Jordana. Anastasia. Um, Rimmel. Rimmel is really good. And then I have this random um, lip pencil in here, which I was actually looking for. So, yeah, that doesn't belong in there. 
And then I have some eyeliners right here. Um, I have just a mixture, a whole bunch of, uh, of a, this is my favorite um, liner. This is from L'Oreal. I have some pencil sharpeners. I have some mascaras, and I don't really have a lot because I just cleaned out my drawer, but I have a Bare Minerals sample, a NYX, um, Tarte, Amazonian Clay. I have a Smashbox, um, Maybelline, um, Maybelline Great Lash. I have some clear brow gel from Maybelline, an e.l.f. one, some eyelash curlers, and then a Pixie Lash Booster. All right here, I have more eyeshadows right here, which I, these aren't even supposed to be in here, but they just fit so well in here, so I just decided to leave them in there. Um, but those are some loose um, eyeshadows. These are the ones from um, L'Oreal. I believe they're called the Infallible Light Eyeshadow. So I have a, a purple one, a brown one, a black one. I have two blue ones, and then a, like, cream-colored one, so... Then I have my favorite color tattoos. I have one in Bad to the Bronze. I have another in Too Cool. Um, another, I have two of the same white ones. I have a backup. And then I have um, my favorite one, which is the Bold Gold one, which I use usually when I have my gold looks. And then right here in this basket, I just have a whole bunch of pencils, like um, some colored pencils. I have some NYX glitter liners. Um, I have these Milani um, Liquify Eye Pencils for the lower lash line. This Selma Hayek one. Um, I don't even know what this is. And then it has this white thing, which I really don't know what that is. And then, uh, oh, it has a eyeliner. So that's nice to know for later. And then I just have, like, you know, a whole bunch of liners in here, like all different colors. I have these Milani ones. Um... Milani, I have a star look, so yeah, just all of those, which I need to start using more often. And the next drawer is the rest of my lip products that aren't in my drawer or my lipstick, so these are all my lip liners that belong. So these are all my lip liners, I have some NYX, um... I have Elf, I have uh, Wet n Wild, um, Rimmel, Sephora, so, and then I have this model one. These are my lipsticks um, that need to be depotted. Um, these are the ones that my daughter me messed up, so I'm going to go ahead and scoop the product out and put it into a pan. So if you want a video on how to do that, let me know. Um, and then these are just lipsticks that I don't really reach for. Um, I got this in a glam bag and my daughter ate it, so... Yeah, this is my homemade DIY lip scrub, um, which I will be doing a video on pretty soon. Right here, I have all of my lip glosses, so I have um, some NYX lip butters in here. I have this Urban Decay um, Revlon. I have a lot of these uh, Revlon lip, uh, just kissable lip stains. Um, love these. I have a Smashbox one, Milani, NYX. Um, more NYX, Juice Beauty, I have some Elf in here, and I have some Revlon, this, it goes all the way down, so I have a whole bunch of those. Okay, my next drawer is another favorite of mine. It's my lash drawer, which I really need to stock up on my lashes. So right here, I just have some towels that are, they're clean, but they're dirty because they're stained with makeup. So I usually use these to wipe my hands or whatever. I have um, a whole bunch of lashes in the, this basket right here. I have some Andrea lashes, um, cream or creme, however you say it, elf, um, butterfly lashes. And I have some Cherry Blossom Lashes, which are my favorite. So I have a whole bunch of those. And then I just have some fa extra face products in here. So I have this, um, my toner, which is the Neutrogena Toner. I have some Olay um, Night Creams right here. I have my Makeup Remover Wipes, which are the um, Equate ones. And these really do work really good. And um, they don't make my eyes burn, so I love that. And then I just have some box lashes right here that I got from eBay. So those are those. And then in my next drawer, I have um, some extras. 
and then I have my palettes. So right here, I just have my um, 10 color blush palette, and that just looks like this. This is what I use for freelancing, so I don't really use it a lot. Um, I have my 10 color camouflage palette from BH. This is just a whole bunch of different concealers. And then I have my 28 neutral palette from BH. Love this. And then my 88 color matte. And these are all my colorful eyeshadows that I use. Love this. And then I just have backups for my uh, makeup remover wipes. I have some cotton pads. I have my dirty beauty blender and then beauty, my beauty blender cleaner. And then in the back right here, I have um, another one of these little things from the Dollar Tree. And I have some um, smaller palettes. So I have some Wet n Wild palettes. I have one in Petal Pusher, Comfort Zone, and Blue Had Me At Hello. And then I have some e.l.f. ones right here. Um, I have the neutral one and then also the colored one. So I have those two. Um, my next drawer is another one of my favorite drawers. Um, this is all of my extras or products that I need to use or that I want to use. Okay, so here all my backups are stuff that is new and I haven't had a chance to use yet. And then my last drawer right here is all of my nail stuff. And yeah, that's basically it for my Alex 9 drawer.